Hello and welcome back to my channel. Monica Paez here. I am a hormone and functional health coach and I'm here to help you with all your weight loss, hormone, and health questions. Today we are talking all about macros. It became very popular, the whole if it fits your macros diet a couple years back even though it's basically the same thing that has been going on for years, is basically what you eat. The three main macros, which are protein, fats, and carbs, in diets from years ago, many years ago, they always incorporated those three things. So macros has been around for the longest, but like everything, they have to reinvent it and make it seem super cool. Then they came up with If It Fits Your Macros, um, which is basically the eat whatever you want, including Oreos, ice cream, whatever, as long as it fits your macros. So that became a craze and people were losing weight, eating ice cream and eating all this stuff. And they were like, oh, this is the best. I tried it for a little bit. It can be a little bit confusing. You're constantly like having to write on your MyFitnessPal, um, what your macros are, and you're constantly having to think. It was good in a sense that it gave you more freedom and less restriction, but it was also bad because it gave people a, an obsession with the macros and hitting their numbers. People become can become very, very obsessed. Another downfall with if it fits your macros is that people were not really learning how to eat. They were just sitting, plugging in a number. And while it gave you the less restriction and the ability to eat whatever you wanted, people were still unhealthy. People were still feeling like crap. Yes, they were losing weight, but they weren't really understanding why they felt like crap. And it was because they were missing out on all the nutrients, minerals, phytonutrients, everything that food brings you the medicinal of every single food on the planet. It's great for somebody that knows how to eat. It's a great thing to do 80-20, which is what I personally do. I eat 80% of the time, I try to eat my all my good nutrients, all my good foods, and then like I'll have, you know, I like to have an oatmeal cookie every day, like after dinner or something, just to get the sweet tooth out of it. I learned how to eat. I learned what each food does and why it is so important, which is something that a lot of people didn't. Coaches just gave their clients a number. They told them, hit these macros. And when you stop losing weight, we'll lower the macros and increase your working out. And all that did was pay, make people sicker and get fatter. There was obviously a fault in that. And even though I still use macros, it's a little bit more of like a leniency of macros, I guess you can say. You cannot just do one thing. You cannot just do the macros, if it fits your macros, the intuitive eating. You have to get like a little bit of all these pieces and kind of put them together. And that's like the perfect scenario, right? With that being said, macros is a great tool in order to know where you're at and how you can increase or decrease depending on what your goals are. That is to me amazing. When I start off with clients, I always ask them if they want macros or not. So we go based off of that. I like to teach the importance of every single food. One of my mentors, Vince, he always says, food is not bad, it is what humans do to food that makes it bad. And it's absolutely true, like a potato is amazing. But now when you fry it, you kind of lose all the nutrients that it has and you start getting all these other chemicals and the saturated fats and, and the stuff that's really bad for you, the high cholesterol. So no food is bad, it's what humans do to it. With that, there are a lot of people on this channel that do do macros and they go by macros, they really love it. And they're always asking, you know, what is a reliable formula to lose weight on macros or to determine macros for weight loss? And the truth is that there really isn't one. There's not, I cannot just tell you here, let me, it's gonna be, you know, 35% fat, 25% carb. No, that's, there's no such thing. It doesn't exist. So the best way that I can tell you for macros for weight loss is to track what you're eating for three days track everything from the gum that you eat to the celery juice, everything that you eat. And then kind of just figure out where your calories are. And then from there, you can either lower it if you want to lose weight or higher it if you want to 
put on muscle or you want to go into a maintenance. If you've been eating enough, that's usually okay, you can drop. But if you see that your calories are very low and you still want to drop, I would not do that. If your calories have been low, you want to be able to increase those calories. If your calories are low, please, please, please do not lower them even more. Start increasing them little by little and then later on once you've been eating a lot so for purpose of this video let's say that you've been eating a good enough calories you want to um lose weight all right so go for it you can either start gradually every week start lowering lowering or you can do like a hard push drop 400 to 500 calories for a very short period of time and then start increasing again slowly reverse dieting slowly little by little there are other ways of doing it but this is just the basic way and for purposes of this video. Also, if you are doing like the hard push of 400 to 500 calories, I would have a refeed day. So for instance, let's just say Saturday, which is the weekend and usually the day that people eat the most, I would bump up the calories by like 200, let's say, and then you have a refeed day. And I would do that for no more than six weeks. It also depends on your mindset, which when you do, if you wanna do hard push, for about six weeks or if you want to gradually start decreasing the calories just kind of your lifestyle your mindset there's a lot of things that go into that that a lot of coaches don't actually take into consideration which they really should there's really no formula but this is if you want to do that this is the best way uh in order to start losing weight i would like to say that this is for someone who is healthy, has no hormonal imbalances, has no insulin sensitivity, has no metabolic resistance or metabolic disorder, which is very rare in the society that we live in and everything that we've done. So this is for someone that is completely healthy. Then you can do this. But if not, it gets a little bit more complicated and um, that's kind of when you need a functional health coach. Not to give myself free propaganda, but it could get tricky and when people start trying to do it themselves, it's kind of when all the, the problems occur or when they go to someone that doesn't really know what they're doing, that's when the problems start happening. That's just a, a basis, once again, if you are healthy, which is like a very small percentage, unfortunately. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave any questions down below on anything regarding health and fitness, and I'll be sure to answer. Don't forget, I post all my health and fitness videos on Tuesday.